guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing it's my blah, 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 blah. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul, and I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I took advantage of this sale, which was 20% off for VIB Rogue, 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 whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, I took advantage and I got a lot of stuff. I think a lot of stuff, well, a good amount of stuff I may be returning back because I'm not sure how I feel about it because I did all my orders online. I did go to the store once to make an exchange of something that I got that I didn't like and I got something else, but we'll talk about that later on in the video, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I did most of my orders online. I just decided to throw everything into this giant box. It's not all the way filled up, but it is pretty heavy. I just want to show you. Oh, wrong side because I have my address. So this is the size of the box. It's not all the way full, but you can see some stuff in there. Ugh. A lot of stuff in there. I did some damage. So I'm going to set the box right next to me. I'm kind of scared to do that right next to me. I'm scared it's going to fall, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to go. I'm just going to stick my hand in here, pull out stuff, and go from there. So I picked these up. These are the new Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. I got the Smoky Obsessions and the Warm Brown Obsessions. They're e extremely, extremely small. They fit in the palm of my hand. But this is the Warm Obsessions one. As you see, the colors are very, very pretty. I'll swatch some here. So I'll, I'll swatch. Oh my God, look at that. That is very pretty. Look at that metallic one. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this. And this one right here is a Smoky Obsessions. If I can get it open, what am I doing wrong? Here we go. That one is extremely pretty as well. I don't have a lot of Smoky eyeshadow palettes, I would say. Um, I'm not really a Smoky eyeshadow kind of girl, but I definitely want to try it. And I felt like this was perfect to pick up to get that started. And it's like... This is perfect for traveling. Next in the box, not gonna look this time. What's this? Okay, so I was looking for a powder, um, powder foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. It's a multi-usage powder foundation. This one's in Neutral Honey 140. And um, I have the Makeup Forever HD Liquid Foundation. That is amazing. But I don't have a powder. I had the Tarte powder that's only exclusively in Tarte and that one was good but I wanted something else. Um, it had good ratings and good stars on Sephora and ooh, so you open it, it brings a sponge which is really nice and then you put that down, has a mirror and that color seems way too light for me I think but it feels nice, it, feel, ooh, it feels really silky. I mean I'll give it a try if not this will probably be returning because I don't really need a powder foundation, but I just liked the idea of it to set my found liquid foundation. So we'll see about that. It's gonna reach in here. Okay, so the next one I got is a no pore <laughs> the no pore blum primer. This is really cute. No pore primer. No pore problem primer. So this is a smooth and pore covering top secret. Smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup. So I saw Manny and UA and Jeffree Star talk about it and I think Kathleen Lights as well and they absolutely love it. The packaging is so cute, it's like a frosted glass. The um, primer is pink and I love how it has a darker pink for the name on it. It has a pump and right now it kind of smells but I do have some nice pores that need to be filled in. Oh, it's like very liquidy, you can just see it going down. Oh, but it feels nice. It feels like moisturizing. It smells good, and it's it's very very soft. It kind of feels oily though, and I don't I'm not so sure about that. It does feel oily, and I don't like that. I don't like primers that have like an oily residue in it. But I'll give it a try and see how that will fill my pores. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not sure how this is going to fill my pores because it's so liquidy. Okay, so next I got the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. This, my best friend, recommended this to me because we both have oily skin. And this is like, I'm not gonna lie, um, because she 
raved about it so much i would keep trying it like opening it put it on as primer and then close it and put it back like oh i need to wait till i'm filming this video but ever since i first tried it i had to keep opening it and it's it smells so so good when i first tried it on it had like a tingly cooling sensation on my face but it kept my face matte all day like after four to five hours after i put foundation on um my skin all around my um t-zone it gets so oily it's gross but with this it kept it matte I only had to blot once throughout the day and that was like later on in the day instead of blotting it like three times a day like I have to do if I just were to use any other primer. This is already amazing. It's a matte moisturizer with willow herb. It says use AM and PM. So you can use it as a primer or you can just use it by itself. It's very moisturizing and it keeps your face matte which is the perfect combination for me. So I absolutely love this and I recommend everyone to get it. I got the, I got two Tatcha products this is the tatcha the water gel water light moisturizer pore perfecting japanese wild rose so it's a let me open it i can't open it guys there we go Ooh, this is very pretty so you open it it has this little flap up here beautiful face beautiful futures one purchase equals one day of school oh that's awesome so you purchase one and i guess it does something for school which is amazing so you slide it up Ooh. Like I was saying, so you slide it up. It has paper to it. It's like a rice paper. Very nice. So it gives you some information right there. I'm not going to read all that. It gives you a paper around it. And it feels, ooh, it feels very luxurious. It has this tape on it. The water gel, water light, and anti-aging pore perfecting Japanese wild, wild rose for oily skin. Again, I saw awesome reviews on this on Sephora and I had to try it. So it's like water, yeah. So it's runny as well, as you can see. But it's not as runny, it's like, ooh. It feels nice on my hand. It kinda has a weird, no smell to it actually. It has no smell to it, but it feels very nice. It doesn't feel oily, like the no problem um, primer that I showed you guys just a while ago. The other product that I got from Tatcha is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which every youtuber raves about and I like my face to be matte um, I've mentioned this before a lot of times on my channel but I decided why not try to be dewy for once see how it works out so this is the luminous dewy skin again it has the same information in the inside with the paper this one is very pretty I like the purple I like the blue on the other one um, it says in the back shake gently before use close your eyes and mist onto face for instant soothing radiation radiation soothing hydration and silken radiant finish so that's what it looks like let's look at the mist Ooh, it has a very fine mist it smells like a spa but that feels really nice on the face I like that next in the box is oh so I got the new Huda Beauty Fall I got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I got it in Dulce de Leche. This scared me choosing my foundation online. I hate choosing my foundation online because they didn't have it at the Sephora in store near me. But I love how it's a glass bottle, not a glass, a plastic bottle. So it's very easy to travel with. And it has a pump. Um, it is dirty because I did um, try it to see if it will match. And let me just show you guys. So this is to be said that it will give you the Instagram skin in real life flawless and that's it it's very full coverage um, I'm not exactly sure however if it's my color but I haven't tried it on my face yet I've only tried it on my hand but it looks like it'll be a match we'll see and inside it also brings a sample of the Huda Beauty complexion perfection pre makeup base which is her primer um, her primer didn't really excite me so I didn't get that but I'm glad I have a sample size so I can see if it works good but I have so many primers out that I don't I don't really need the full size next in the box I'm just gonna go around oh okay so I'll grab both of them so I decided I've been having a lot of breakout and texture on my skin and I wanted something new 
So I got two Glam Glow products. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Um, problem screen. This is for problem skin, skin imperfections, pore refining, mattifying, and clarifying. This, my best friend and a lot of people that I see on YouTube, use it for a spot treatment, which I feel like is perfect. I just, the packaging is insane. It has so much to it. Ah, and it's ruining my nails. I just painted my nails for this video. And now it's ruined. Thanks. Um, so I'm not I'm not gonna open it right now because I'm not gonna use it yet, but feels nice. I just hope it really works because if not, you're going back to Sephora. The other one I got is ooh, new larger size. I I hope I didn't buy the larger size. I think I did, but it was the same price as this one. Are they the same ounces? So let me get to this one first. So this is a Glam Glow Gratify Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. And it firms, lifts, tights, tones, sexy contours, which obviously I'm still young, but if I can get this skin looking tighter and tighter as I grow older, then I'm willing to do, to do that. So this one actually brings a brush. I've heard Tati rave about this, and I love watching Tati's videos. How do you open this? Here we go. So you open it, and it's like that. It brings a piece of paper. No one reads those paper. At least I don't. I don't have time. Um, it brings a brush. It's a cute mini brush, so that's nice. Um, I'm not going to fill it, but I would assume it's soft. And in there, you see the product, and... Ah! Oh, it feels nice and heavy. I love the purple color. That is it. This one, I'm assuming, has the same plastic thing to stop it. So, again, I'm not going to open it, but I will be trying these tonight once I wash off my makeup because my skin needs some healing. Like I was saying, this one brings 1.7 ounces. The white one, which is a super mud clearing treatment mask, also brings 1.7, so that's awesome. So the next thing I got is a new Laura Mercier powder. This one brings the sponge, which I've always wanted the sponge, which is perfect. If you've seen before in my videos, the one that I have, I still have quite enough left. This I've had this for like a year and a half, almost two years, and I've broken it. I don't know how, so I needed a new one. So I just decided to purchase another one during the sale. I got another foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And I bought, I purchased this before, but that's when I was like, I wasn't sure if I really wanted it because it brought so little um, product in it. It only brings 0.25 ounces. Foundation is one ounce usually in a bottle. So that really scared me, but as I, once, when I first purchased this, I bought it, I got scared, I returned it. But now that I know and I watch more tutorials of people using this, it's so high coverage that only a little bit will go a long, long way. And it's very nice. It's more geared towards dry skin, but I have oily skin and I love it. This is the product and look. That's... Not that bad, it's still going. And I'm not gonna keep going because I'm scared it's gonna break, but I did use a little bit and it covered everything on my face. I didn't even need to conceal and it's it's so pretty and it's so nice and smooth. It's expensive for the little amount of product that you get, but I now understand that it is worth it because it's so full coverage and so pigmented, so I highly recommend you to get it. I know it's more geared towards dry skin, but for oily skin, for me at least, it works. So I decided to try the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. This is waterproof and it's very nice. Oh, I took up too much. This is the... This is the brow pencil from Sephora. It does do nice strokes. I need to test it out. The only thing I know I'm not going to like is the pen... The brush in the back it's like a comb instead of the usual spoolie this I feel like is not going to disperse the product on my eyebrows so I will probably not be using that I will be using my spoolie from other eyebrow pencils that I have I also stocked up on the original beauty blender this is a Sephora exclusive this one's so pretty it's like a marble of white and pink and I'm obsessed with it and I kind of don't want to dirty it but I love the beauty blender. I I really like the black one but I decided to hold off and not get it. I'll just buy it another time, one at a time because I also have a lot of drugstore makeup sponges that I love so one is enough. So with one of my first orders I got the Lancome Moisture Big if I'm saying that correctly. Um, 
um, mascara sample and I fell in love with it. I saw many and you rave about this, but I was like, I don't know if I want it. But that's the mascara wand on this is like so big, so nice, and the formula just coats every lash that I have. So of course I went ahead, went back onto Sephora and ordered the full size of it, which I'm so excited. I did use this, but I'm wearing lashes right now. But I ever since I got it, I've been using it every day and I'm obsessed. So I'm very glad that I got the sample of it and I got to try it. Another product I got is a Huda Beauty Lash Glue and it's fast drying and waterproof. I didn't know though that I got the dark tone. I don't know if there's a clear tone. I usually like clear um, lash glue, but I'm willing to try this. Everyone raves about this, so I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I don't even know if it has like a weird scent to it. It's already coming out. It doesn't have a nasty smell like the Lash Duo, the Duo Glue. That smells disgusting. I don't know how people even get that onto their eye. It's just disgusting and gross. I like to use the... Here it is. I like to use my House of Lashes eyelash glue. I love this. It's very nice and it's clear, so I like that. So I'm going to give this a try. I hope this is just as good as the House of Lashes one. also got Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. Okay. So I got plumage, which is a nice plummy color, purple plum color. Let's take that one out. So that is plumage. Please don't fall. So this is plumage. I'm just gonna show you a swatch right here. Oh, oh my god, that just glided onto my hand. So pretty, but it has some sparkle in it. I just wonder how that's gonna look on my eye. Hopefully it catches a lot of light. Next, I got the sunset one. It decides to come out. So this is the sunset one. Very, very pretty. And again, just glide that right up here. Oh, again, that just glides on. Look at that, how it catches the light. Love it already. This is going to look so nice in the water line. And the last one, which is the matte one, is in out of the blue. Ooh, this is pretty. So that is an intense blue. I can't wait to use this as a nice big pop of color. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my god, that is going to pop on my waterline. I just hope they stay and these are amazing because they were pretty expensive for some, for some eye crown pencils. On to the next thing. So the next palette I got is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. This is just so pretty. Look at that. Ooh. So this came out like maybe... I, I'm probably sounding crazy, but maybe two years ago or a year ago, and I'm not really into like holographic, like other color highlights that are not natural, but people keep raving about this, and the pants are really small. It is really expensive, but I'm willing to try it. There's a green one, there's a blue one, um, a violet one, and a pink one. Oh my god, look at that. That is, it looks like it like it glue it glows in the dark. I'm just gonna swatch that. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, I'm happy. I'm so happy I got this. Um, so that's the green, blue, purple, and pink. That is oh my god. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm happy. Yep. So, you know how I just said that I'm not really into colored highlights? Well, I'm wrong. I already know I'm obsessed with this. So now moving on to the store portion where I went for one day to return something. I went in to return the Marc Jacobs Contour and Highlight Palette. Um, when I got it, it just, I knew it wasn't gonna work for my skin tone. And when I went in store, I tried to see if I can exchange it for one that would fit my skin tone, but I didn't like the other ones. I actually have something that's similar, which is um, more affordable. The first purchase I made when I went in the store is the Ambient, the Hourglass Ambient, you can't even really see, um, Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. This one wasn't on my radar, wasn't on my radar. I wasn't even thinking about this palette, but when I went in store and I swatched it, it was just to die for. It was so pretty here. A uh, little bit of the swatches, you can't really see that one, but these two are very pretty. It's something that I can just wear every day, go in with a Morphe M510, and just go on my skin, and it's just like perfect. You can't really tell on camera, but 
when the light hits it, it's so pretty, it's so mesmerizing. I can only imagine what it's going to look like on my face. Of course, if I don't like it, I can return it and I'll give you guys an update if you guys want on that. But I'm kind of happy I got this. Okay, guys. The last item that I got, I, I'm very upset about it. I got the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette number 5. This is the Aries one, if I'm correct. Yes, Aries. And this, look at it. It's just gorgeous that blue where's the blue shade that blue shade that gold it's oh it's so pretty when i got it so excited and i noticed that the eyeshadows fall out of the pan and i was so upset i called sephora i called the closest sephora store to me and i was like hey do you have this palette can you please put it on hold for me and i will come in today and pick it up and they actually had one last palette I was so happy, I went in store and I was like, okay, this looks nice, it looks like it's gonna work, I'm gonna purchase it, and I exchanged it. Came home, and guess what happened? I will try and show you guys, I'm so scared to do it here, but I'll do it to this one. They just, they literally fall out, ah! they fall out the pan, they fall out the pan. And this is like something that I'm like dreading on returning. Because it's so pretty, I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys. Um, people have mentioned this. This happened to Tati when she was reviewing it, and Natasha Denona knows this is happening, so I don't know what to do if I should return it and wait to see what she does. But I don't know. When I got home, the blue, the beautiful gold, and the light champagne color fell to the floor. You can kind of tell this one got a little bit damaged. But it didn't break, so I was able to... Oh my god. Oh my god. I was able to actually just put it back. I'm scared to squeeze it in. I just don't know what to do with it. Because I'm in love with it. Let me do some swatches. It's just... Oh my god. I'm gonna actually try and squeeze it in. So this is the champagne color. Just gonna... Look at... Oh my god. This is the dark rustic metallic shade. I'm gonna put that right next to that. See, and then this is what tears me up is, should I return it? This is the only matte shade on there. Oh my God, that is so buttery. This is my first and only Natasha Denona palettes because her palettes are pretty expensive. I've always wanted the like $200 one, but I ain't got money for that, not even with the 20%. This is the beautiful blue shade on there. I don't really have room here. Let's see, right there. <gasps> that is so pretty. Look at those colors. It's like the last color, which is the one that's the most broken. Try and squeeze that back in. Yeah, is this kind of dark gold color. That one has a lot of glitter in it, but I'm just gonna. I suck at swatches. Put this down here. Uh, that one has a lot of glitter. I can feel the glitter in that one. But it's so... Oh, guys, these are so pretty. Okay. That's what I needed. I don't think I'm going to return them. The swatches just justified it. I know it sucks that they fall, but I'm willing to put up with it so I can have these beautiful colors on my eyelids. Okay hey guys, so that is the end of my haul video. What do you guys think? Did I go a little crazy? Did I not go crazy? Did I not go crazy enough? Um, let me know what you guys got and what you guys think on the products that I got. If you guys want me to do a try on on these products, what products you want me to give you an update on, let me know down below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Just don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye guys.